Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Abercrombie on the trail, coming back to you with another video on ultralight backpacking and how to eat healthy on the trail and also super ultralight. So let's get started right away. Uh, I'm gonna take you right through everything in my pack. I'm heading out uh, this weekend. Gonna do, finish up the section, Massachusetts section of the New England Trail uh, and get that under my belt for this season. All right, let's get started. Okay, here's my pack. Uh, so being that we're going ultralight, which is what I highly recommend that you do, unless you absolutely wanna find out very quickly that you hate backpacking, because the uphills will kill you if you're weighing, wearing more than 10 pounds on your pack. And that's not a joke. Like you will be miserable. You will have sores and blisters and it will not be enjoyable. If you go ultra light, you will be happy. If you don't, you will pay the consequences. Puante's pack Joey. Why do I pick a Joey? Because I don't need more space than that. Because I'm not going to bring a bunch of bulky stuff that weighs a lot. I can keep it under 10 pounds. Let's go through it. Okay, this is the uh, back pocket of the Joey, uh, Puante Packs Joey. They have a couple drops a year. You'd be lucky if you get one. Um, back pocket here. What do I keep in the back pocket? Well, let's go through it. Uh, to begin with, super ultra light, way lighter than trekking poles. I don't care for trekking poles. This is the poles that you can get for Gossamer Gear, the one or the two from the Gossamer Gear site. Um, they're just super ultra light poles that go along with the one or the two, depending on who I'm taking with me. If it's just me, I'm taking the one. If it, I'm, I'm hiking with someone else, it's the two. Plain and simple. Really super ultra light tent, uh, tent poles. Don't take the whole roll. Simple. Um, take, you know, roll it around whatever you would use in a single use. Do that five, six, seven times, whatever you're comfortable with, and throw it in a sandwich bag, as light as a sandwich bag as you can get. Two liter platy for night, for the nighttime, for when I'm in my tent and I don't want to keep going to a water source to get water. Here's my ditty bag. I'm gonna go through that. Before we do, I got a lightweight, super lightweight spoon. It's not as light as a bamboo one, I don't care. I just like the texture of it, I, I don't mind. I could have gone lighter. Here's my tent stakes. People will tell you all day long, you need something heavy, something aluminum, something sturdy. It's not been the case for me, haven't had an issue. I got the titanium stakes, the, the hook, uh, fish hook stakes. I got the larger gauge, uh, ultra lightweight, titanium fish hook stakes. Uh, they're super, super light and they do the trick for me. I keep one extra tent stake, you will lose tent stakes. This is the extra one, it's a little heavier duty in case I get caught up in some wind or something. I just keep them in a little bag, keep it organized. Okay, that's it for the back pocket, except for the ditty bag. We'll, we'll get into that right now. It's light, my ditty bag, everything I need, all my little incidentals, okay? First off, why go into the back country without some way of making fire? Three cotton balls soaked in Vaseline in a sandwich bag. These suckers will burn and catch fire of anything. That's my fire making kit along with my mini Bic lighter, it's half full, fire making. An extra battery for, I'll show you soon, the only light I need. Might as well do it now. It's on the front of my shoulder strap. It's a one cell flashlight, super lightweight, I can leave it at the ground. I can walk with it at night. It's just a lightweight one. This one is called Streamlight Micro Stream. That's it. I don't need a headlamp, too heavy. A little sponge cut in half, this little sponge to wash my legs or arms up with at night. And with that, in a plastic bag, I have a small, container of DEET, 
liquid DEET for for uh, bug repellent and Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. And I don't even fill them up all the way. I just use a, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, continuing on. My hygiene kit, a bamboo brush, bamboo toothbrush cut in half. One flosser, plastic, and a little carry-on of toothpaste, usually half full in a plastic bag. There's my hygiene kit. That's it. No deodorant, no hairspray, nothing. Iodine pills. Helpful when your filter fails. They don't weigh much. And sometimes you just want to filter water without actually having to squeeze it through anything. Iodine pills. Not the best taste, but it's a good option. Here's my med kit. Okay. Med kit consists of ibuprofen. Um, a Benadryl, uh, a nighttime Tylenol PM to sleep well, and one of my daily meds that I have to take every day. I mean, it's just some, some, some kind of med. So whatever little pills you got to take, you got to put in a little plastic bag. I, I always carry a little Swiss Army knife. It's got a toothpick, a little pair of scissors. It's nothing. It weighs almost nothing. It's, it's nice to have a little blade with you. You need it. Okay, in my patch kit, bam, son. What do I got? I got tenacious tape, needle and thread taped onto the back of some uh, athletic tape or whatever you call it. It's just, um, you know, it's like Band-Aid tape for your blisters or whatever you might get. And I keep a lot of that on hand and more tenacious tape just as something to you know if I need to patch up something hole in the tent or something the screen of the tent so the bugs don't get me because this is New England and they're savages all right I do keep I do keep earplugs I don't need this many I'll be taking some out earplugs super important to have as is don't forget to get this. This one says five more minutes. It's pink. It's my mask I sleep with so that when the sun comes up, I can keep sleeping. That's my ditty bag. More in a minute. Okay, here we are. Let's go through what's inside my pack and how I pack it. All the snacks that I need, the food throughout my day. I'm not gonna wanna stop and undo my pack. Everything fits right in this bottom pouch that I can fit. I can, I can reach with my hand underneath me and pull out a snack while I'm hiking. This, pa this pouch is amazing, okay? That's why I have this pack. That's a, a Palantes pack. That's their signature bottom pouch that I love. I keep two water bottles with me. I keep one on the side pouch and I keep one on my shoulder pouch, and I, I prefer these lightweight, super cheap ones because they are lightweight, lighter weight than smart bottle. In this bottom pouch here, I have a bug net. I think it's simply a cheap Sea to Summit bug net for mosquitoes and gnats. I keep that there. <clears throat> Uh, in the other bottom pouch underneath the bottle pouch, I keep, it's where I keep my torch. And I also keep my headphones in it. You can keep your air, uh, air buds or whatever, AirPods if you're brave enough, but I, I just bring a corded one. That's in there. Okay, so that's, that's basically the front of the, the pack. The back of the pack. I should say the middle section, okay? What do I keep in this thing? How do I pack it? Okay, so first things first, I have it lined with a Gossamer Gears pack liner. I cold soak all my food, so I have a simple, you could do uh, Talentis or Gelato or any kind of little plastic container. You're gonna mix up your food in this and you're gonna let it sit in your pack, and then when you get to camp, it's ready to eat it. No, it's not a hot meal. I'm not carrying fuel in a stove. It's just 
that's how you make your hike unenjoyable because you're adding too much weight. Things like that. This is super ultra lightweight. This is a good raincoat, frog togs, rain jacket. Nothing special, has a hood, has everything I need. It's so cheap that if it rips or gets broken or whatever, or I lose it, I don't care. It was $20 at Walmart, cheap. Okay. Next thing in my pack. Okay, I absolutely love this thing for summer camping. It's just a blanket, it's a down blanket. And I got it from a Etsy company called Hang Tight. It's really lightweight. I love their company. I've bought all kinds of quilts and bags and everything else from them. I like not being restricted to a toe box and this fluffs up. This is really nice down. And it was it was not even a third of the price of uh, like uh, enlightened equipment or whatever. Super helpful company called Hang Tight on Etsy. Okay. This is the one, Gossamer Gear One. No, I don't keep everything in its own individual bags. I just stuff it as it is into the pack. It's easier, it's, it compresses better, it's the way to do it. That's the one, Gossamer Gear is the one, it sets up in seconds. Okay, I've found personally, I need an, an inflatable mattress on the ground. I'm not comfortable with simply uh, a foam mat. I tried it, it's not for me. I got a uh, half size, the smaller version of Ye That Shall Not Be Named as a, an inflatable air mattress. You can't go without a pillow. They're so lightweight, why wouldn't you? What are you gonna do, give your neck pain all the next day? This is a lightweight inflatable pillow. I got it on Amazon, it's never failed me. I like how quickly the air goes out of it. It's really simple. You know the name of it, what is it called? Trekology pillow. So easy, very comfortable, I love it. This is nothing, this is nothing. These are like wind pants that I picked up and I love them. For mosquitoes, I love them to keep the wind off me. If it is a cold day in early spring or fall, this will keep me a whole lot warmer, at least a few degrees warmer, and it weighs almost nothing. Wind pants. This thing is awesome. This is a fleece. Okay, this is a fleece for cold weather, for, for sleeping outside if I need to. Uh, you know, for being around camp or whatever, and for hiking on really co in cold. It's uh, it's from uh, a hunting company, ultralight hunting company. It's really, inex it's, I wouldn't say it's inexpensive, it's like a hundred bucks, but it's it's been one of my favorite pieces of gear. And uh, so, but anyway, so that's everything in my pack. Real quick, just give you some ideas of what I like to take for food out with me to be healthy. Okay, to go through, uh, real simple, I'm on a keto diet, low, low sugar, low carbohydrate, moderate protein to high fat and healthy fats, not crap fats, good fats. So um, what am I talking about when I say that? Well, this is probably most of the food I'll need for, you know, two days and I'll just show you what's in it real quick just to give you an idea. And I'm not gonna measure stuff out. I'm just gonna bring some foods to give me some options. I like options. Meat sticks, I like hot and spicy, okay? If you check the back, there's no added sugars. There's very little carbohydrates. So this works for me, meat sticks, okay? I like to throw some Starbucks coffee into my water bottle in the morning, shake it up, drink it down and get my caffeine going so I get up and going in the morning. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Very nutrient dense, ultra lightweight, lots of calories for energy. Lots of nuts, you need nuts all the time. Hey, uh, almonds, I like the bold flavored, uh, sea salt and vinegar. 
okay? The spicy variety of pistachios, because I like spicy. Macadamia nuts, a little on the expensive side, full of excellent fat for you, plenty of energy, tons of calories, super ultra lightweight. Some of the other things I'll be taking with me, a bunch of these. These are Justine's almond butter packets. Very little, let me see, five total carbs, three grams of fiber. So you're talking about two net carbs for one of these packets of peanut butter. It's 220 calories. Tell me I'm going wrong here. I don't think so. I'm going to take some peanut butter. I'm going to slather it into some uh, low carb tortillas with some pepperoni and some some cheese that I'm gonna take. That'll be a lunch, and that's a high calorie, ultra lightweight option for lunch. Lastly, to go through my morning routine, I'm gonna be putting some chia seeds into my little Talenti jar, along with some hemp hearts and some cocoa nibs. Also going to put in some protein powder, some coconut powder, milk powder. Uh, I'm going to be putting some, uh, some MCT oil. I have individual packets of MCT oil I'm going to empty into that. Um, and, uh, and, and, just, and I'm going to make a uh, breakfast out of that. It's plenty of calories. Uh, probably keep me full for quite a bit of the morning. And then I could snack on nuts or whatever else from the bottom of my pack for the day. So I hope this is all helpful. Get out, enjoy the trail, you know, be healthy, do your keto thing. Don't flip diets just because you're going hiking or backpacking. You could stay keto if you expressly just pick meats, cheeses, nuts, avocados, individual servings of guacamole, whatever. Just stay to keto, you know, uh, and have fun. Enjoy the trail. Uh, get out and see this country because it is a beautiful place. That's all from the. It's all from the sit room. Uh, Abercrombie out.